Good evening, everyone. A Louisville nonprofit got a nasty surprise Christmas Day. WDRB's Dakota Sherrick explains how a pet food bank is trying to recover after being flooded out. From the ground up, you can still see remnants of the flooding that happened at No Kill Louisville's Pet Food Bank. But all of this is just a fraction of what they saw Christmas Day. Oh, God, this is so bad. Maybe two or three inches of water just, you know, flooding out, pouring out the exits. I can't get in because of the electrical on the floor. Coming in from every direction above us, like the entire top floor had been flooded and it was just coming in through any crack. No Kill Louisville's Jeremy Ficklin says they couldn't safely enter their warehouse in the Portland neighborhood until Monday. Now the animal rescue was left to dry things out and assess the damage. The water was coming down across this whole wall and it tore these uh, ceiling tiles down. A burst pipe upstairs flooding the group's pet food bank, which helps families facing hard times with pet necessities like food and kitty litter on a monthly basis. The, the bulk of it is not usable. The loss of supply coming at the worst time. This coming uh, distribution day, we have 120 families scheduled. But Ficklin says sharing their sorrows on social media has led to a huge show of support. It's a great feeling, especially on the heels of having con been confronted with uh, the damage in here. In 24 hours, people came forward with needed donations and the pet supply company Chewy has committed to sending them thousands of pounds of dry food. To have that kind of response, it's a great silver lining, um, not only in the practical sense, but also in you know the, the show of uh, concern. That, that, on an emotional level, helps a lot. He's hopeful the help they're getting now will inspire more people to learn about all of No Kill Louisville's programs and assist them in the future. While the animal rescue has thankfully gotten enough donations to get through their next distribution day, there's still a need for volunteers, especially for this cleanup. We'll have information on how you can contact the group at WDRB.com. In Louisville, Dakota Sherrick, WDRB News.